Hello, my dear friends. My name is Irina Mosilova, and today I want to welcome you to your first Russian lesson. And we are going to use my newest book, which is called in Russian Surprise, which means surprise. And yeah, in this lesson, you're going to learn the Russian alphabet and you will learn how to read these Cyrillic letters. So let's get started. Let me share my screen with you. Yeah. So there's the book, the PDF version, which is also free to download from my website, www.russian-blog.com. You can download the first two units and use it. Yeah. So, so let's start with the Ruski Alphavit. Where's the translation? Ruski Alphavit. Listen each letter and repeat after me. Here's how letter sounds in the alphabet. This is how it sounds and the example. Make it a little bigger. Duck. Okay, so. Uh, A sounds like звучит как in Russian звучит как mama mama B звучит как b bank V there's a tricky letter it looks like English B but it gives the sound V Например, for example, visa, visa, г, звучит как г, гитара, д, letter is called д, sound is д, доллар, е, звучит как евро, ё, Актер Ж журнал. Uh, I think uh, all the words you can easily guess, right? That's why I'm not translating. I'm not translating them. Z uh, zebra E internet. The letter is called I kratkaya, which means short E. It's a consonant. It sounds like Y. Y. Like in the word ER. Y. Yogurt. K. Zuchitka K. Coffee. L. Limon. Which means lemon. Limon. M. Menu N N is another tricky letter because it looks like English H, but it really is N nose, which means nose or metro P plan R R. Uh, for some people, it is difficult to pronounce because it's not exactly English R. It's R. Russian, Russian R is very rolling. So you need to put the tip of the tongue up to the palate and vibrate it R, like that. For example, например, uh, Russia, which means Russia. Russia. But do not worry about that if you are not able to pronounce it right now, just right after the lesson, because uh, of course, for Spanish or Italian speakers, this letter is not a problem because they have the same R sound. But if you are a French speaker or English speaker, or maybe you are Chinese, uh, then it could be difficult for you to pronounce, but you can pronounce it in your own way for now. Later we will master it. But don't let stop yourself from learning Russian because you are not able to pronounce it right now. You can say it with the accent. For example, when Russian people speak English, they can say, I'm from Russia and it's fine. You understand them when they pronounce R in their own way. So you can pronounce with your own accent. Later, I will teach you how to pronounce it. S, student. T, 
Ben, Takshi. U, U is another confusing letter uh, because it, it looks like Y, but it always sounds like U, soup, for example, soup. And yeah, by the way, have you noticed that Russian R, R looks like English P? Yeah, it, it could be also very confusing. F. Звучит как Ф. Например, фото. Х. Yeah, it looks like X, but this is Х. And звучит как хорошо. Ой, I mean, хоккей. Also хорошо, which means good. Хоккей is хоккей. Хоккей. For some people, like maybe if you are French or if you are Italian, then it might be difficult to pronounce H. H. Хорошо. Хоккей. С. Oh, this sound is not a problem with you in Italian because it sounds like pizza. C. Pizza. Ч. Звучит как Ч. Например, капучино. Чай. Ша. Ша sounds like ш. Например, шампунь. Uh, next one is ща. Be careful. In the beginning, it might be difficult to, to hear the difference between ша and ща. Ш is a soft version of ш. But when you do ш, you round your lips. Ш, show, шанс. When you pronounce ще, you don't do that, you smile. Ще. For example, например, a Russian famous soup is called борщ. With this letter, ще. You see, борщ. Uh, another letter is silent. We will talk about them later. It's a silent letter. It is called hard mark or sometimes it is called hard sign. Uh, it is not pronounced. Here the word object. I will explain you later because we have two silent letters, the hard sign and the soft sign. They always are following the consonant. That's why they are never in the beginning of word. They don't have capital letters, but we will talk about them later here when I will explain you the sounds. And then we have N. Mm, mm. La primera música. And soft sign again, the soft letter, uh, it, it softens the consonant before. Na primer, New York, New York, you see how soft N is, New York. Then we have E, na primer, Aeroport, A, -E, you see there's E, and then we have U, which means, it sounds like U in surprise. U, surprise, and the last letter is ya. Na primer, informacija, informacija, which means information. So, uh, we have 33 letters, 10 of them are vowels, 21 are consonants, and there are two silent letters. Let's try to remember them now. Let's work on vowels. First, mm. uh, we can divide all the vowels into five pairs. Uh, uh, listen how they sound. A, uh, ya. Yeah. You see why this is the pair? Because you just add j in the beginning for this left column. A, uh, ya. Yeah. You see, they make a rhyme. Let's read ma. Mia, da, cha, sa, xia. The other pair is o, yo. Let's call this group of vowels yo tated because you add j in the beginning. J, ya, yo. Mo, mio. So, so, so. Make sure that you repeat after me every time when I say Russian letters or syllables or words. 
ए मे मे खे से 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 दे फोर्थ पेयर इज उ जु मु म्यू तु चु सु सु एंड द लास्ट पेयर It's not exactly like that because this is e. It's not z, but <laughs> if they still are a pair because listen how they how similar they sound e and e. Sometimes e is hard to pronounce in the beginning because probably you don't have it in your native language. It sounds close to the English word ill or quickly. When you pronounce e, make sure that you. Move your tongue back. E, e. In Premier, for example, the word musica, musica. There is e, musica or macaroni, macaroni. Uh, and e is very natural. It's like meat. Okay. I think e exists almost in every language. Me, me. At least at those which I learned. Si, 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 si. So oh, what I wanted to notice that the vowels from the right column, ya, yo, zi, yu, i, they always soften the preceding consonant. Look, ma, mia. You see, mi became softer. Mi, mia. Ta, xia. Okay, so uh, right now I would like to practice the vowels with you. If you remember them very well already, you can skip this exercise. If you feel like oh, any time to practice it, I recommend you to do this exercise. So I will share my screen, the whiteboard. So I will type a letter and you pronounce it. Just do. Check if you can remember how it sounds. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <coughs> Did you say ah? Yeah. So I, I type a letter, you say how it sounds, and then I will say the right version so you can check yourself. Oh. Yo. I hope you said e. Eh. Zia. U. Ju. U. I. Si. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Okay, so now let's go to the consonants. As you know already, we have 21 of them, and we can divide them into two groups, a paired consonants and without pairs. <coughs> so why they are pairs? Let me explain you one word. So for example, B and P, this is a pair, why? Because they have the same articulation. Articulation is what you do with your lips, teeth, and tongue while you're pronouncing the sound. So the difference between vowels and consonants is that you can sing vowels as long as you can breathe out. Uh, and consonants, uh, you make blocks for the airflow with your lips, teeth, and tongue. But you see, I cannot sing them as long as I can. Ah, uh, like that. So, uh, so the blocks you make with the teeth, lips, and tongue is the same with for b and p. The difference is only in if it. Uh, the difference is only in if it's voiced or not. When you say b, there is a vibration here. B. When you say p, there is not. So that means it's a voiceless consonant. The same v. 
and f. G, k, d, t, j, sh, z, s. Why do you need to know that? I will explain that. Uh, in Russian, there is a phonetical rule. The voiced consonant at the end of words sound like they have voiced their spears. For example, let me give you an example with English language. The word friend. This is my friend. So D, the end. In Russian, it would sound like T. So maybe you will hear a Russian person would say, this is my friend. So D will sound like T because this is how this is how we speak in our own language. But you know what I have noticed that the same thing happens with all Slavic languages and also with Turkish and also with German. But it never happens with Italian, French or English. So we pronounce, for example, garage. The garage. We pronounce it with sh, not with z garage. But we spell it with sh. Uh, yeah, so let's read some syllables to practice new letters. Ba, pa, bo, po, va, fa, vo, fo, ga, ka, go, ko, da, ta, do, to, ža, ša, žo, šo, za, sa, zo, so. And we have some more consonants left. They do not have pairs, but I think they are pretty easy to learn. Some of them are very similar. M, N, L, R, Y. I think from this column, the only problem could be R, because as I said before, probably you don't have this sound in your native language. So how to learn to pronounce R in the Russian way? So first, start with the sound. Say D, 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 just like there, like here. Say it many times, very, very quickly. They keep doing this, and then use your finger. You need to move your tip of the tongue in every direction, like like a so say and then do this. So it will help you to feel this vibration. And Keep practicing this until you get the sound. But again, don't worry about that if you cannot say it right now, it will come later. Just keep learning and it will come. And then we have <laughs> four more letters. Sh, uh, like borsh. Sh, k, and s. Let's read some syllables. Ma, mo, mu. Na, no, nu. La, vo, lu. Ra, ro, ru. Ja, jo. Ha, ho. Who? Sha, sho, shu. And probably I will have to add one more line with se. Sa, so, su. Mm -hmm. And there are two more silent letters, which are very weird. But one of them is very important, is the soft sign. In Russian, it sounds like nasty znak. We use it, <coughs> sorry, to soften the preceding consonant, which means, uh, here's the example. M, n, you see what happened? 
I softened m, ny. So the letter is silent, it just affects the consonant before. Uh, maybe if you speak Spanish, they have they have it only with some letters, not at all. And and n. So Russians use the soft time for that. M n. Let's read a few more. L L T C M N Now the hard sign. Word is not. Well, we do not use this letter very often, especially after the revolution in 1917, because they changed they changed the rules. Before that, they used to. Uh, use the heart of soft sign after each syllable if it finishes with a consonant. For example, the word dome, which means house, they would put it the heart sign after that to show that m is hard. Now we understand that m is a consonant, it is already hard itself. We would use the soft sign only if we need to soften that, but we don't need to show that it's hard. COVID. So they decided that was the waste of the paper, so they canceled the rule. So we do not use the hard sign very often, but sometimes we still use it. Let me explain when. As I told you before, the vowels from the right column, I call them rotated, ya, yo, ye, yu, e, they affect the consonant before. They make it soft. So if you want to keep it hard, you would use the hard sign. For example, mia. Yeah, you see, it is kind of separating them. Yeah, Muzia. Tia, Tia. Okay, so now you know the most important rules. So you are ready to read your first Russian words. But before that, let me explain you your homework, which I suggested to do. So I recommend you to go through all these words again. You can listen to them and the, 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 the sounds as well. So where you can get it, let me show you. You need to go to my website. And here, russian-blog.com. <laughs> then you go to my books. You see my opinions, my books. You go, you find the book. This, so please, you find the book. And here, everything you need for this course. Course plan in English and Russian, Lexis of the course for each unit, keys to all exercises, and audios. You go to audios, then you can download all the tracks for free. And you need to find the first and the second track. And you can practice, you see, the first one, you just listen, you can download it, and uh, listen and read again all the words, because you need to get used to some of the letters can be really confusing, like V, like Re, like K, because they look like the English letters, but they sound completely different. So you just need to practice it a bit. And right now, we will read your first words in Russian. But before, let me explain one more pronunciation rule about the stress. So there's not a rule about the stress, like, like in French, the last syllable is always stressed on German, very often the first one. Uh, uh, you, you need to know the word, just like in English, you never know, at present or to present. And in this course, I use the bold letters to show you the stress in new words. But when you know the word, when I suspect you to know the word, I don't show you the stress. In some books, they use uh, special signs, uh, student books, not in real books. Like this, ah, uh, if it is stressed, which means a longer one vowel in a word sounds longer than others. And these longer vowels is called stressed. So some students will use this sign above the letter to show you the stress. But in real life, we never use it. I don't want you to get used to that because you will never see them in real life. So, okay, anyway, let's read your first word your first words and uh, so right now I want you to try to read it yourself. You need to read these words, try to guess what they mean and match them with the pictures. You see this, 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 and this. Okay, you have 
you let's say 20 seconds to try it and then I will read it for you. <coughs> mm. Okay, so are you ready to read them together? Sport. Sport. <clears throat> so I hope you match sport with this picture. Then we have tourism. Tourism. Okay, tourism, I think it could be this one. Because we are traveling. Muzika. Muzika. You see the bold letter shows you that stress is here. Muzika. <coughs> well, definitely muzika is here. Rie sto ran. Restauran. Stress is here, you can see. Restaurant, maybe it's a restaurant, and I think restaurant is here. Restaurant, oh, we have okay. okay, let's read one more. Gie o gra fi ya. Geografia. Geografia, it's easy to guess that it's geography, geographia, and I match it with the planet. Geographia. And the last one is Tie Hni Ka. Technica. It's like techniques or technologies, maybe I should replace it with technology. But anyway, Technica, and we have one picture left with the telephone. Technologia. Так, еще раз, давайте еще раз. Uh, more quickly, let's read it more quickly. Sport, tourism, musica, <coughs> restauran, geografia, technica. <coughs> Sorry, and the, <coughs> the last exercise I will suggest you to do at home is to read those words. Just try to read them and try to guess what they mean. I'm sure you will guess because they are very similar. Banan, kiwi, yogurt, etc. You read all of them and you need to find the name for the e, for each group. For example, sport. the names are here. Banan, kiwi, yogurt, coffee, menu, pizza, soup, salad. I would choose a uh, category restaurant. So I would name it restaurant. Okay. So here, restaurant. That was the example. You will do the rest as your homework. And we will check it together in our next lesson. So I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. So yeah, see you next time.